All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is wrapping things up here. We've just got a couple more units left. We're looking at the uh, excretion system or the urinary system. Uh, it's pretty much the system that has to do with the kidneys. Okay, so let's just look into a few uh, functions of the urinary system before we get into the structure and function for today. Uh, basically, what we're looking at is just we're wanting to get rid of any wastes that are byproducts of chemical reactions that are happening in our body, and those are called metabolic wastes. So that's one function. Uh, things like urea, creatinine, uric acid, we want to get rid of them, and your urinary system is what's going to do that. Uh, it also wants to maintain water and salt balance. As you're going to see, if there's too much salt in your vessels, water is going to want to go in there, which increases the blood pressure. And as we know is that if you increase blood pressure, some negative side effects can occur. So these are our salts and things we want to balance. Um, maintenance of acid-base balance. We talked about it before. Uh, if our pH of our blood gets too off, it can lead to acidosis or um, having more alkaline blood. And neither of them are very beneficial for us. And then also secretion of hormones. So renin and erythropoietin are both hormones that we'll talk about a little bit later. But these are our four functions right here. Okay, the urinary system. So this is what we're looking at in terms of its structure. Okay, so we have our kidneys, we have our ureters, we have our bladders, and we have our urethra, which was common for the uh, reproductive duct as well. And then we have some of the arteries that we've seen before. We have the renal artery, which takes blood uh, to the kidneys. We have the renal vein, which takes it from the kidneys back to the, the heart. And then the aorta vena cava are things that aren't necessarily to do with the kidneys. They're just other arteries that are beside it. So now let's look at the actual system itself. What does it consist of? Kidneys, they're in the lumbar region, so lower back. and they're covered by uh, fibrous connective tissue. And then we have this thing called the hilum, which is pretty much the depression right here. Like it's the same thing as we have in our kidney bean. There's a little depression right there. And that's where the renal artery and vein are going to be coming in and out. All right. Moving along, we have ureters, and all that these are is it conducts or takes bladder, that's or <laughs> takes bladder, takes uh, urine from the kidneys, and it takes it to the bladder. It's a three-layered wall, irrelevant, and uh, it has some mucus, smooth muscle, and also connective tissue. Those are three layers, and then it, how it gets the urine there it isn't just by gravity; it's by peristalsis, which you've seen before, the rhythmic contraction of that muscle walls. Oops, sorry, that was really fast. Next one, the last one here, or second last one, we have our urinary bladder. So this is where the urine is going to be stored before it's expelled. It has three openings, one from each ureter, and then one opening up into the urethra. And then we know that the bladder wall is expandable. Okay, it's not like it gets certain big and then it just bursts. It's elastic. And the big thing about these ones are the stretch receptors. Just like we have stretch receptors in our lungs, uh, it signals to our brain that we need to urinate when it gets to a certain volume. And then the other thing is there's two sphincter muscles that control the amount of urine that's being released into the urethra. So that will open and close depending on if you need to go to the bathroom. Okay, so copy that down there. So here they are, last one, urethra. So this is just the tube that the urine flows from the bladder into the outside world. And obviously its function is just to remove it from the body. Random fact, urethra is longer in the males than the females, obviously because it has to travel through the penis of the male. So copy that down. And then we know that it's used as a double function. It transports seminal fluid in the males and also urine. Okay, urination, 
as we know that when the stretch receptors are stretched to a certain amount, it's going to signal uh, to the brain that it needs to go to the bathroom and it does it through a motor impulse. This stuff we'll be looking at in the nervous system so don't really need to know exactly what happens. And it signals the bladder can contract. It's called micturation, which basically just means uration. So urination. Okay, so we don't have to know the actual uh, nervous response. We do not have to know that. We'll be touching on that next unit. Okay, so just to finish off, just make sure that you know the different structures and what their functions are. Should, should be a nice, easy uh, transition into our urinary system, excretory system. Okay, have yourselves a wonderful night.